North Korea successfully launched its first spy satellite. It's called Malajong-1, and it was launched on the Kolomo-1 rocket on November 21, 2023. The authorities of North Korea issued a statement indicating that the country's reconnaissance satellite captured images of the White House, the Pentagon, and U.S. aircraft carriers at the naval base in Norfolk. North Korea also warned that, in response to any U.S. interference in its space activities, the viability of American reconnaissance satellites would be eliminated. How could the launch of this satellite impact global security? How serious are the statements made by the authorities of North Korea? And what consequences might arise from this? What capabilities does North Korea's satellite possess? And does it pose a threat to the world? Scientific and reconnaissance purposes of satellites usually do not raise international tensions if these activities comply with international norms and laws. In general, reconnaissance satellites are designed to collect various data from the vantage point of orbit in space. However, if a satellite is used for military or aggressive purposes, it may cause concern and elicit reactions from other nations. The successful launch of North Korea's spy satellite raises significant questions about its potential impact on global security. Let's explore the possible implications, breaking them down into key consideration. Firstly, the launch signifies an enhancement of North Korea's surveillance capabilities. Capturing images of strategic locations, including the White House, raises concerns about the extent of North Korea's intelligence gathering. Secondly, potential threat to national security. The captured images suggest a focus on critical U.S. military and government installations. While the exact capabilities of Malajong-1 remain undisclosed, the potential use of such imagery for strategic planning or targeting could be perceived as a threat to U.S. national security. Thirdly, diplomatic tensions. The warning issued by North Korea regarding potential interference in its space activities, coupled with the threat to eliminate American reconnaissance satellites, introduces a diplomatic challenge. With this escalatory rhetoric, constrain international relations and contribute to an atmosphere of tension. Next, space militarization concerns, the development and deployment of reconnaissance satellites for potentially military purposes raise concerns about the militarization of space. If nations perceive space as an arena for strategic advantage, it could lead to an arms race and increased competition in space-related technologies. Furthermore, the launch and statements by North Korea will likely prompt responses from the international community, especially the United States and its allies. Discussions within international organizations and forums may focus on addressing the situation, preventing further escalations and maintaining the peaceful use of outer space. Lastly, impact on space governance. The actions of North Korea may prompt discussions about enhancing global governance and regulations related to space activities, addressing issues of data sharing, satellite surveillance, and potential military uses of space could become focal points in international agreements. In summary, the launch of North Korea's reconnaissance satellite, along with the statements issued, has the potential to impact global security in various ways. The seriousness of these implications will depend on the reactions of the involved parties and the broader international community. What can USA do in the response to a new threat? In response to North Korea's launch of the reconnaissance satellite Malajong-1, the United States can enhance diplomatic efforts to understand and address concerns, strengthen defense systems to protect satellites, and collaborate with international allies for a unified response. Additionally, reviewing and updating national space policies, reinforcing cybersecurity measures and advocating for enhanced international space governance are essential components of a comprehensive strategy to safeguard U.S. interests and global space security. The specific measures undertaken will depend on the perceived threat and the evolving geopolitical landscape. Exploring the worst-case military scenario, what might actually pose a threat to those high-flying satellites in orbit? Let's dive into the potential threats that satellites face and examine how each one could affect their security. Firstly, signal jamming or interference. Adversaries might use electronic warfare techniques to jam or interfere with signals between reconnaissance satellites and ground stations. This interference could disrupt communication and compromise data transmission. Secondly, cybersecurity vulnerabilities. The threat of cyber attacks targeting the satellite's ground infrastructure or onboard systems is significant. 
hackers could attempt unauthorized access, manipulate data, or even take control of the satellite. Thirdly, anti-satellite weapons. The development and deployment of anti-satellite weapons by other nations represent a direct physical threat. These weapons could be used to disable or destroy reconnaissance satellites in orbit. Next, space debris and collisions. The increasing amount of space debris poses a risk to satellites. Deliberate collisions or accidental encounters with space debris could damage or destroy reconnaissance satellites, affecting their functionality. Moving on to spoofing and deception. Adversaries may attempt to spoof or deceive reconnaissance satellites by providing false information. This could mislead satellite sensors and compromise the accuracy of the collected data. Additionally, emerging technologies like directed energy weapons could pose a threat. These weapons use lasers or other directed energy sources to disrupt or damage satellites from a distance. Moreover, physical interception. In extreme scenarios, adversaries might explore physical means such as deploying spacecraft to physically intercept or maneuver reconnaissance satellites, impacting their orbits or functionality. Lastly, international regulations and diplomacy. Changes in international regulations or diplomatic tensions can impact the cooperation and coordination necessary for the secure operation of reconnaissance satellites. Political disputes could lead to challenges in accessing certain orbits or regions. These hypothetical scenarios underscore the significance of international dialogue and collaboration to ensure the peaceful use of outer space. Conflicts in space could have severe consequences, including creating debris that poses risks to other satellites. As we conclude, it's imperative for nations to engage in open conversations, adhere to international agreements, and find diplomatic solutions to disputes. Cooperation remains the key to safeguarding the peaceful use of space for the benefit of all. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the channel.